first of all, this this is just funny. This uh, that truck that uh, this is apparently in southern China. Um, uh, a truck is jackknifed uh, with evergreen written on the side, and it's blocked a four lane highway. And <laughs> obviously, it's got nothing to actually do with the ship. Um, but obviously, having that big label on the side of it just uh, it just looks very unfortunate. Although, yes, I thought I saw somebody tweet this saying, um, you know, the, the the consistency of branding is pretty good. Um, in a way, is it is it only me who who just finds that ever given being stuck in the Suez Canal, uh, blocking billions of dollars of trade and hundreds of ships from going through? I don't know. It's. I feel like I can. You know, all of the memes and whatnot. I feel like I can just relate to the ship somehow. Uh, with everything going on in the world, there's so much dark, horrible stuff happening in the world right now. And this is arguably. I mean, if you're into shipping. Um, and, and, and you may be respect if you are, but uh, if you are into shipping, of course, this is uh, adding to um, you know worst year ever, you know dumpster fire 2021. But for me, I don't know. I kind of find it kind of I don't know cathartic. I don't know if that's the right word. I find it um, relatable that you know a, a ship got lost in a. I, I mean. The Suez Canal is like a straight line. I don't know how anybody could have thought that you were supposed to turn left in the middle of it, but apparently there was a dust storm, uh, which was initially given the blame. Uh, however, now the the latest news I'm seeing from Egypt is they say, no, it wasn't actually caused by the weather, and they're actually going to investigate. Maybe it was another drunken captain or whatever. Who knows? But, um, you know, somehow or another, of course, that 400-meter, you know, mega tanker, like the 60th largest ship in the world, uh, did decide to turn left uh, at Albuquerque, and it ended up blocking the, um, the 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 one of the most important uh, waterways in the world. So yeah, we have the whole world. All the PlayStation Fives in Europe are getting uh, held up because of this. Uh, you know, apparently all of the you know crazy stuff that's sort of happening. And they can't dig it out, or they're really struggling to dig it out. They tried uh, doing it on a high tide, getting rid of all the ballast uh, overnight. Uh, they're, now they're thinking they have to, but that didn't work. So now they are going to start removing the crates. It could take months. I've even heard people saying they might have to actually dig a separate canal. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a disaster of sorts. But I, I don't know. I just find it. I do find it and the memes relating to it kind of relatable. Uh, the ship, of course, part of the reason I can legitimately bring it up here is it is, of course, a Japanese-owned ship. Apparently, it's owned by a Japanese company, but it's actually operated by a Taiwanese company. Um, you know, which isn't. I mean, bl blame is neither here nor there. The Japanese company in Ehime, which, by the way, is, is on uh, Shikoku Island. It's one of the four prefectures there, and are famous for shipping and for shipbuilding and for sh fishing and whatnot. Um, yeah, they've uh, given a, a deep bow and apology. Um, Japanese ships have been causing a bit of trouble, of course. There was that case in Mauritius, was it, in the Indian Ocean, where uh, uh, that ship spilled lots of oil over a sort of nature reserve. But uh, yeah, in this case as well, they bowed very deeply and apologized for all the trouble, which is kind of an understatement. But um, yes, I just, uh, I, I do find it uh, an interesting and relatable story. And uh yeah, yeah, uh, I, I do hope that they uh, sort it out. It's one of these things, unlike COVID or these other sort of disasters, it strikes you as a sort of problem which, you know, it looks like a train trying to get up a hill. Like, there, there must be some way to do it. And uh, hopefully by next week there will be, well, <laughs> you know what, COVID did start out like this. Hopefully next week it'll be over when we talk next time. Uh, I, I certainly hope we're not doing updates on the Japanese ship that's clogging up the Suez, Suez Canal 12 months from now, but that is a thing that is happening. That is a Japanese company. Apparently they're very sorry and they're definitely trying to get it out. Uh, but I don't know. Everyone feels like this right now, right? I mean, everyone slowed down because of COVID. Everybody's finding a lot of stress, a lot of built up time in, uh, you know, working in isolation and whatnot, building up and, you know, things going wrong and uh, blowing up and feeling out of proportion. I think a lot of people are feeling this. And that's, I think, how I look at it and feel like I can relate to the tanker or to the truck blocking the highway. So that's the first story I'm covering tonight.